Morning, y'all. Bit of a sore back this morning. Someone keeps having sugary pancakes at this bit of the breakfast bar. You know who you are. For anyone wondering this morning, yes, my back is sore. Thank you very much. I'm sure Dan is a little bit hobbly too. Thanks for all your responses yesterday. Lots of people saying um, Woods, Mickelson, lots of DeChambeau. It was interesting to hear your thoughts. So today we're going to flip it. We've got a different swing on my phone today. I actually got Ian Poulter's swing on my phone today. A possible pick for the Ryder Cup. So let's talk about Ian Poulter's golf swing and kind of what makes it unique and him quite unique in some ways. Also, today's question is similar to yesterday's. Who's going to be the European picks? Who are going to be the players picked for the European Tour side? Come on, Team Europe. Come on, Team Europe. Post those comments down below. Hit that thumbs up button while you're down there. And don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel if you don't already. It's all free and you get notifications. There's still sugar on the breakfast bar. You know who you are. Right, should we take a look at Ian Poulter's golf swing? So he's very textbook in lots of things he does here. If we look at his setup on the right, um, it's slow when it's getting to the start. He looks very neutral in everything he does. Now from the down the line view, what we see is he does get his hands very close to his legs. I don't know why he does that. I don't see it as a problem. He does suffer a little bit from shanks. You'll see the way he swings in a second, which kind of reflects this stance as well. It just seems such an easy fix is the wrong word, but something could be so easily changed and might give him a little bit more room to get the heel strikes just moving out of his game, but he's obviously chose to not go that way. Now, noticeable little move he puts on his backswing here as well as he moves back. So we take this front on view into the backswing. Good extension. Again, he's very high hands on his backswing. He does have a little kick with that hip. So the hip does just want to kick out slightly. Again, don't see it as a massive problem. He's still got his hip pretty much kind of over the instep. There's nothing really in there that's calling out any problems. It looks very, very good. He's very stacked on top of the ball. This is only like an eight iron I think he's hitting in this clip. Um, so it, it looks good from this position. Now, if we go from the down the line view, we do see him want to move forwards a little bit. Now, my camera's moving slightly, so the lines isn't so good, but he does want to just shift that peak forwards on the way back. He wants to move into it slightly. Also, what we see from down the line, again, he's very high hand, similar to Justin Thomas. Takes it back to first parallel. Club face turned slightly more down to the ground than maybe the next guy, but in no way a problem. And then from here, hands want to go up. He wants to pick those hands up in the air. Now, for someone who can hit the old shank, wants to push forward a little bit, hands up in the air so high. You know, these are things that if I was working with Ian and he wanted to try and change, we would certainly explore what they do for him because I think they do all scream a little bit heel strike at a player but not saying he can't manage it he's a world-class golfer now downswing's interesting as again we'll see the steeper side people would call it but you can see hand path and club path coming so the head of the club coming below the hand path so this means he can hit any path he wants with these angles by laying that shaft down even though when we see him come down he's certainly not by any means the most laid down in appearance. He's got more upright angles as he comes down, but you gotta remember he starts almost like, uh, slightly upright, quite close, picks it up quite upright. It's reflecting everything we see from that setup position. And then we come down into the ball, very solid impact, opening hips, opening shoulders. Now he's a looker. So what I mean by that is look where he's looking. He is not a head downer. He is not a classic kind of, uh, impact position where he's kind of clubs going off and he's looking back 
He's like David Duvall, he used to do that. Lots of good golfers. I think it even um, DJs a little bit that way as well. Again, not a problem, but it's quite unique and you see these things. If you see these points in golfers that aren't world class, they get brought up as faults, but then as soon as they're in world class players, they're now not faults, which I always think is an easy, easy, uh, interesting thing with coaching. There's certainly some things in there I would explore with Ian if he ever asked me a question, which I'm sure he won't. Um, you know, his career is fantastic and he earns plenty of money and is quite happy. Uh, the look apart isn't an issue. Standing a little bit close to me is something I'd worry about. That slight push forward is something I'd experiment with. And maybe even laying the shaft down a fraction more would be fun to see what kind of results he gets out of his play with that. Uh, those kind of changes. Now, as we move through, very good extended follow through, hips, shoulders, everything going up and through, really solid. Again, quite classical position. Ian's got lots of solid moves in there. He's funny though, he does have a few quirky ones that we might try experimenting with today. Right, time to get the talkie golf club. Oh, look at this, he's always working, always tinkering. He's always searching, Dad. Searching holes. All right, coach. Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, I'm back. Yeah. back. Back from all the charged up. Back. New house, all the yeah, yeah, going the on. bed, the telly, and the yet. sofas. You spend that much money and they don't deliver it on the right day. Oh, no. I, I ain't buying sofas. I'll have that sofa. Okay, that'll be eight weeks. Eight, eight yeah. weeks. <laughs> sofas no, here. Sofas. I want that one now. Sofas are being delivered this afternoon, so oh, better do this quick. Be eh? quick. Yeah. We're talking polter down. Pulse. We're talking Don't polter. stand to the right of him. Well, it's interesting you say that. So Dan is referencing Shanks. So yeah. we're gonna try and take on his action now. We'll all have a go each. So you've got to stand quite close. Do you quite want me tall. to do Yeah, why don't you go first? Alright. So you've got to stand close and tall. Now he is closer to his hands with his legs than that. Okay. Now when you take the club back the first parallel. Yet he turns it down to the ground a fraction. And then from there, you need to go up, like elbow in the air, up. Yeah, up. Oh. And left shoulder down. So he's a heavy tilter. What he also does, don't smooth, is he is not afraid to slightly push forwards. Yeah. So you need to basically feel like you're doing your highest handle delivery for this to work. And he's a looker. Yeah. So which way impact you've got to be, yeah, giving it the look. Should we go? Funny how people work stuff out, isn't it? Well, it's all about matchups. Yes. Yeah. Oh. But yeah. look how low your follow through is. Oh, he yeah. gets a high yeah. follow through here, it? because right it right well it relates to the other shapes that he puts in. If I say let's forget pulse, but I want you to hold and hit like this. Yeah. You ain't gonna follow through like you follow through. Look where I am when I finish it. Yeah, yeah. We'll finish it in here. It's all patterns, it's all matchups. It's all matchups, Dan. I still found Target though. Wow, that's what he obviously is very good at doing. Yeah. 22 million pound one in his career, I think I read. You know, he's not, not winning money. Ferrari's a clock. Yeah, he likes a good Ferrari, Get doesn't that, he? Yeah, up there and give it a good look. Matt, yeah, that's closer. That's Polteresque. He's reluctant to stand close. That's who, a nine who? ball as well. That's a nine ball. Yeah, he wasn't as close as Pulse gets. No. Come on, Dan. Let's see it. Should, should I have a go? New me. Strikes, what did it feel like you might hit fat. it like? You felt like fat more than anything else. So you, you say, you don't get his elbow out, does he? He is high with his, yeah, he's up. Do you have a swing? I've got a swing. Have now. a look at your swing on there from Turkey that you collected. I can show you more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> holiday snapped, <laughs> you and your canary smugglers. You, Dan, you're so far away from that. He right. is literally almost touching. I'm down the line and I see next to no gap between go. legs. He's got not a lot of tilt in his upper body. At a dress. Very up a dress. This is a driver, isn't it, or fairway? Hybrid, I think. Slightly toe down. Yeah, watch him go up now. See, elbow's not pointing down. If you look at four, like top of right arm, it's up. And he pulls steep. Oh. Still lays the shaft down. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can see where the neck ball comes from. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's and really there, look at that. Ooh. And then really high follow yeah. through. Really high follow through. 
Good video, Matt. Thanks. Yeah, that's impressive. Now you get to it. Yeah, yeah but you got to get steeper, higher on the way back and down. That's why you can't get that follow through. Took that video. Oh, I let you down. Were you there? No, I think he was there. Oh, God. Look how low he is with his arms. Max Royale, all inclusive. Right. Oh, we took him there the next time, showing yeah. him around, oh, didn't we? Yeah, you took him for lunch there, boys. Yeah, we took, I paid for that. Oh, oh hold you. Hold you. Yeah, numbers at yeah. the end. Oh, oh lovely. Max Royale. Dan got one because we gave him one. That's it. Right, really high on the way back and look. Oh, yeah. Got to got look. To look. <laughs> That's not high on the way back, is it? That's a mind though, isn't it? So what does that feel like to you, Dan? What do you feel like you are just, gonna... just like too too close, all a bit up here, and a re like the swing is almost going this way. And that's an interesting point, okay? And I think Matt was kind of saying the same thing. The fact that you feel like the swing is going this way. Yeah is what I think he relates to for hitting it on target. You are hitting line balls there. Yeah. If, you're, if I was to give you this, change the lie of the club, I reckon you would all feel yeah. a little bit like you could pull or hook, push or pull, sorry, more. Yeah. Where as soon as you start going up here, I definitely feel like, apart from face, like my path could zero out so easily. And yeah. I think he relates to that. I, I don't know, that's my guess. Yeah. But yeah, he's, Quite upright and close. He gets a little bit there. And then from there, he literally goes up again like Thomas. This has to go that way more, which we don't do. We're more back here. Yeah. So we, he is rotating trail shoulder a lot to get that up and not do what we want to do when we put it up, which is to go a bit that way. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's doing that more. Which is a common theme with world class players. Then Lots they, of trail shoulder rotation. It makes it easier to lay it down a bit, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, and he does. Even though he gets pulling down what we would call yeah. steep, or people like to call steep, it's not steep, it's still below his hand path. Yeah. They're just steeper angles that you might see from others. He does go a bit that way as well, which I don't like. When I try to emulate anything like his action, which we all can't really do. I mean, I do feel like I can line ball it, but I do also feel like I can hit the old JR for a bit. Yeah. I get it, and that's before I didn't look then. Did I get any higher I on did, the way you, back? You didn't look, I saw that. It looked high enough, not high high, but high enough. It's basically got a rotate trail shoulder. Higher than Dan, anyway. Wow, well, get up there. That's it, get it up there. It's yeah, up there, yeah. yeah. It's the looking bit that scares me. The fact that he goes that way really, yeah. to me, feels like I'm literally... Oh, <laughs> oh. But, um, David Duval was a big looker, wasn't he? Yeah. And Anna Kassorenson was a big looker. Oh, was she? Yeah. I know Duval was. I remember and watching on the range. I'm sure, balls. isn't DJ a bit of a looker as well? DJ is, yeah. He's a looker. Didn't both of them shoot 59? Well, both devout. world number ones. Yeah, fifty-nine was yeah. 50, I remember. Phoenix, Does Polo work with any coaches? Mm. It's nothing. I know names that I would relate to him and Cowan. Yeah, maybe, but I don't. I don't know. And it feels like he's happy. Uh, he was Sean Foley, wasn't he? Because he was Trap Man. Mm. He, you, I'm sure he was Foley for a little bit. See, that's necky. Yeah. That is. Know. That, that a is shank. a shank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, look, look. You've done it. And that's what I feel like when I do his action. I feel like that yeah. is what's going to happen. Because yeah. uh, to stop that, I feel like weight and transfer has got to be crazy, like towards heels on the way down. So really for forget, me, well, I for also me. feel the fact that he wants to go that way a little bit more than the others, even though he does mm. lay down, it's laying down from a steeper angle with the look and the fact that he's not afraid to go that way. They're just things that I think I, I would love to play with, with him. Like, should we just see? Yeah. Like, just an afternoon and you just drop everything. As soon as we, it doesn't work and you hate it, you just drop it. But yeah. let's just see. But if you're not working with a coach or you're not working with someone maybe that you trust, mm -hmm. you've won 22 million. Right. You've won three times on the PGA Tour, I think it is now. Well, it's definitely three professional wins. Mm -hmm. Um, most of them are fixed, is there? But he must have a little trigger in his head that if he does a 
Jay Arthur, he yeah. will go, right, I need to do this feeling. Yeah, he can fix he? it because he doesn't yeah. hit five in a row, does yeah, he? Yeah, exactly. And that's with lessons that I do. They hit one. They haven't got the skills to then think, well, I need to move to this to move strike. Well, I think They'll the, do three in a row and then panic and yeah. then all hell breaks loose. And then they loose. just start yeah. trying anything. Oh, God, I can't, yeah. can't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally agree. <laughs> like, he's got the skills and the plan to get rid of that one if it ever happens, isn't he? Yeah. He's not doing two in a row, which yeah, yeah, is yeah, where yeah. all the yeah. skilled golfers just keep getting better and better. Yeah. He not also, when we did the challenges, which we'll see, he did seem like the one who might strike it. Like, he got the challenges done, which well, I don't want to give him away, but... They weren't possibly the best shots. But he achieved the goal. Well, and he, he was uber competitive. Yeah. And I say, I won't give it away, but he was, did fine. Yeah, he's a bit like you. Yeah, he, yeah he's like, he likes yeah. to just, just, uh, figure it, just grind figure it out. It out. Well, I think Matt said it. I mean, it's matchups, so I'll call it. And like he said it, it's, it's funny how people work it out. And that's the thing. He is able to work it out. Yeah. Um, obviously, lots can't down that lens. And that's where we're helping them. Yeah. work it out but you're always trying to work it out with what they've got yeah. i would love to spend an afternoon with bolter and just say they are tiny tweaks mm -hmm. pressure in the ground stop him going forwards thinking about his setup and where top of his backswing gets to a little i would have it a fraction deeper just show me some shots like yeah. and prove to me that's rubbish and i'll walk away and leave you to it yeah. but if you hit something you think oh yeah that's different and then we go well let's Try see where we go from there, shall we? Yeah, 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 yeah. Having the armory. Having the armory. Go and get those sofas, bruh. Come on. Yeah. They ain't gonna check themselves. It's no. alright, they deliver it, take all the rubbish as well. Lovely. Yeah. You're getting a lazy boy. He's not they've Dan. gone. That's to sell them. Well, Dan, why have you brought that up? This was all going nice and that's all got sad now. Yeah. Now how much they were, now how much they sold them for. Go on. Oh, have you made a profit? No. Oh, right, go Joking on. Oh, you're you. going the other way. Sorry, this is a bitter. Ooh. Go on, then. They cost you 800 each, 500 no, each? No, I think that they were actually on sale, so I did all right, but they were 500 each yeah. and sold them for 150. Oh, and you only sat in them. Like you, Just because it's a lad's brand. <laughs> Every one brand. of them was sat in. <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> Interesting swing, isn't it? Let's get home and discuss it a bit more. So what we learned from today and what can we learn from Paul's swing? Paul was a great example of a fantastic player making his own moves that suit his game and suit his style. A few questions that you could ask, and I don't know where he's done and what he's done with coaches. Is there stuff he's left on the table? Because he's obviously very talented. I don't know the answer, it's just one uh, a question I would pose. Another question lots of people pose is does he is he kind of an overperformer rather than an under? As in, does he do very well for what he brings? I'm not saying he does. I think he is I personally think he's quite under-respected as a player, underrated because he's not winning week in, week out, and certainly not really a major contender always. He's got a very solid career over a long period of time on the best tour in the world for competition in the PGA Tour, coming from England. And us English, and lots of us do, should celebrate how brilliant he is. And he also brings fantastic personality, heart, competitiveness to the game and wins loads of fans and I think affection that way because our sport that can be quite dull needs people like Polter who can bring that little bit extra to the table in personality and edge and heart those kind of things so I for one big Polter fan interesting swing lots hopefully for you there to learn from he's even though he's getting what people will call steeper he's still always making sure that center of gravity of the head is under the hand path which is a killer thing for so many amateurs struggling from standing handles up those kind of ideas and that more uprightness it would be lovely to hear his thoughts I don't know if he feels upright or not but definitely when we all tried it it felt like we could swing on zero puff hit line balls quite easily um, or easier that way so again it'd be interesting to see if that's what he feels in his mind and that's why he feels more comfortable up there post comments down below let me know who you think the European Ryder Cup picks will be which is today's comment of the day see you all tomorrow as always thanks for watching hit the thumbs up button hit the subscribe button if you don't already subscribe to the channel thanks for watching